You've got to figure you can handle the odd rack ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. For sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. What?
right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, it, it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm. Maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Big C's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. Hey there. What can I do for you? Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them. So, maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, Leave him alone, you core slimes! And charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it is brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay up wind when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. My brother is a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Hey, 
there up I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Hmm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pots. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. That's Kanderous Ordo. He's the most famous Mandalorian mercenary in this sector of the galaxy. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Kanderous, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Come on, boys, let's move out! You ask for this! 